what's going on ladies and gentlemen back welcome back to the channel uh i'm back here in Jurassic world evolution continuing our farewell tour uh to get hyped for Jurassic world evolution 2. Uh, we are in our third park tour uh, out of six that we're going to be doing on the channel these are all six parks that i built uh, a long 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 time ago actually well over a year ago uh, I actually feel like I've ended up doing them backwards, but that's okay because you can see in some of the later ones that uh, we don't have some of the DLCs like the train paint and uh, stuff like that. But uh, nonetheless, either way, uh, I get to show off some uh, creativity, even though it's not the best. But, you know, still had a lot of fun playing this game, and I still have fun playing this game. Uh, yeah, so... Excuse me. So this one is called Paleo World, and I'm not really sure. Again, just like the other, uh, all the other parks that I've talked about, uh, I'm not really sure what my what my intentions were with some of these parks. But I do believe this has all species of dinosaur that were in the game at the time in this park. So all species, because I'm I labeled some of these. We have the Tyrannosaur exhibit, so I'm assuming these are all the Tyrannosaurus, uh, Proceratosaurus. Albertosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, and uh, also I have like uh, Ceratopsids, Hadrosaurs, uh, Ankylosaurus, and uh, uh, Kentrosaurus, Stegosaurus, stuff like that, and of course all the sauropods and, and things. So we're going to start right here at the uh, beginning. And we have our little uh, entrance at Plaza here. Uh, of course, we have the Innovation Center, and now that I look at it, I should have put in the monorail station behind it, but who knows what I was thinking at the time. Also, why in the world did I put the transfer exhibit at the front? Who knows? But the first one we have here is, I believe, our Ornithomimids, I think that's how you say it. And we have some hy a hybrid, it looks like. Oh, do we have the Ankylodoclus? An I, I can't say that. Because I mean, every time I say Ankylodoclus, I say Ankylodoclus. Anyway, um, we do have our Stegoceratops. It's cool, I guess, but eh. I'm just not a big fan of the hybrids. Looks like we got a Hoangosaurus, uh, Chunkingosaurus. Then we got our Struthies, uh, Arkies, and Galleys. Uh, those are Arkies. That's an Arkie. Yep, yeah, parking. Okay. So we'll go ahead and take a look through the. Uh... There we go. Look at that. Get a good view of what the guests will see. I have to say, it's a pretty good. Uh... It's a pretty good view. I don't think that that Stegoceratops really likes these guys hanging around. I'm just kind of seeing it, but I guess he doesn't seem to mind too much. You know, I probably stuck the ankle of I can't say it. I probably stuck the ankle of in the four parts of it, I uh, think about it. I mean, he's cool and all, but you, know, you, you get tired of the hybrids after a while. Yeah, but, you know, being loud and obnoxious. Alright, so we'll go on and continue this way. Looks like we got a little detour here with some more shops and all that fun stuff with the hotels. Uh, what do we got over here? This is going to be the Abilosaur habitat. What do we got? So we got our Carnotaur, Otoro. We got some Jungas. I'm not even sure if some of these dinosaurs actually are all part of this uh, this family of dinosaurs, but like I said, I, I have no idea. Shouldn't the should be another one in here, I think. Yeah, it looks like we got some troodons. That's cool. Nice. Our sausage boys. Uh, let me see if we're missing anything. Now we got the Majunga, Carnotaur, and troodons. Okay. Go ahead and continue on. Here we have a small habitat with a crap load of dinosaurs in it. This is extremely dangerous, ain't it? But you do with you do what uh, what you can with the space. These are the Carcharodontosaurus. So yeah, we got our Carcharodontosaurus. 
pretty badass skin pattern. We have a uh, chunky boy, our uh, acros. What else we got in here? We got a pair of those, I guess. Oh, we have our Giga. Uh, I always like to call him a mutant. He looks like a mutant. So yeah, those have got three species in here. Nope, we have some Dilos as well. Cool. I'll make sure it's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. Man, I bet they never have time to uh, stay calm. Alright, let's go... This one over here, this is our Allosaur. I doubt that all the animals in here are Allosaurs, but um, yeah, we have our Allosaurus over there. And looks like we got some Cerratos and some Metris. Nice. Kinda hope the Metri makes it into the next game, to be honest with you. Honestly, I wouldn't mind having all the carnivores make it, uh, with the exception of uh well, I like I like them all. I guess if I had to choose one to go, uh, maybe I would choose like the Majunga or something. Probably one that I use the least uh, while playing this game. I always think that the Allosaurus looks like an eel. All right, there is that. There's the large one over here. I'm guessing is uh, our Hadrosaur. Over here we do have our area where I breed all the animals. Like I said, in every park that I do, I always have a little section where all the breeding does is, uh, where the hatching happens. And then of course I airlift them to their respective enclosures. Uh, I had two of these down here because I just think that uh, on honesty, these buildings are really, really cool looking. Maybe we should try to build this in Planet Zoo. Maybe that's something I can do in the future is try to build all the buildings from Planet Zoo or uh, Jurassic World Evolution in Planet Zoo. You know, do the hatchery and, uh, the greenhouse and, and all that kind of stuff that'd be pretty cool might have to do that soon up here it looks like we have some more facilities I like how you get the, the good view from up here next to the helicopter well I might have to take a helicopter for a spin all right let's check out the hadrosaurs you're probably not going to get a good a lot of good views from these uh oh that is the tour I'm not sure if I'm going to do the tours on this one or not. I guess I could. Like I said, I'll do it just for people who want to see it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look in here. All right. We've got uh, Mutaboras, Mayas. So we got uh, Edmontosaurus. Is that an Edmontosaurus? Yeah, Edmontosaurus. Aurora Titan. we got all the Hadrosaurs in here. There's some Centaurs back there. Some Paras. There is a crap ton of dinosaurs in this area. That is a crap ton of dinosaurs. It's a it's a it's a wonder that these tour vehicles are even able to make it through all this crap. Holy crap, that's a lot of dinosaurs. Imagine how loud this place is, 24-7. Yeah, you know, I'll get you I'll let you get a good look at the habitat itself. Try my best to use as many rocks and trees and, and all that fun stuff. I actually love this skin. It reminds me of a watermelon. I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks that. Alright, up next is our ankylosaurs and stegosaurs. Euopocephaly, stegosaurus is... Is that the polycanthus? See what else we got. There's some ankylosaurs up there. Kentros. All the dinosaurs you expect to see in this enclosure uh, is right here. Nice. And this one is also, I believe, has a tour, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It has a safari. I don't know if I have any gyros in this or not. I don't think I do. Also, we do have the center plaza here as well. 
which uh, I built this first, if I'm not mistaken. You can see it's not really a perfect circle. I tried though, after you know a million tries, because like I said, I'm not good with that kind of stuff. You just kind of take what you can get, you know. All right, uh, we have a sauropod enclosure. We have our patasauruses. Uh, we have a Diplodocus back in the back. Marosaurus. There's our stupid Ankylodocus. I hate that dinosaur. I'm sorry. I just hate it. Uh, is that a... There's something back there. Uh, oh, hey, little buddy. Call him our uh, grandpa dinosaur. And he looks over the face. What we got with our Brachys? And I'm sure there's a Mamenchi and Dreadnoughtus around here somewhere. Go find them. Yep. There's our pair of Mamenchis. And there is our giant Dreadnoughtus. What's up? Alright, there's our sauropods. All the sauropods you need. All right, so we was over here. We need to look at the ceratopsids. All right, and our pintas. There's our trikes back there. We got some torals in here, I'm sure. We got a cynoceratops. We're gonna go over there and say hey to the uh, to the carnivores. Yeah, there's a toros. Again, torals is one of those dinosaurs I didn't think would make it into the game. There's some Chasmos back there. I don't know. I think what we're going to do is we'll do a tour. I'll, I'll do the tour of the Jurassic uh, or the Sauropod habitat. And what's this one? I'll probably do that and then I'll do the Tyrannosaur habitat. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do the Tyrannosaur Habitat, Sauropods, and I will do the Swamp Safari as well uh, at the end. I'm not going to do all the rest of them. I just, I find those animals the most uh, interesting out of all the uh, tours we got going on. We'll do the, uh, we'll go ahead and look at these guys next. This will be our Tyrannosaur exhibit. As you can see, we have our Abertosauruses. Oh, we even have an Indom in here. Cool. All right. We have an Indom and a T-Rex getting along. Becoming pals. And over there in the distance, we got some Pro Ceratosaurus. They're not friends anymore, apparently. Constant complaining from them, guys. Alright, what do we got over here? Let's see, we got our Raptors. This is probably the. Yep, yeah, we got some Deinonychus. Which is another dinosaur that I hope makes it into the game, or the second sequel. And then we got some Jurassic World, or, uh, Raptors. And we have some, is that? Is that a Herrerasaurus? Like I was saying, you know, not all these guys, uh, really fit in here, so I don't think Herrerasaurus is a, uh, is a Raptor, obviously, but... Nonetheless, he's in here. Let's see if we can get a better look at him. Yeah, we got some Herreras in here, Raptors, Anonychus. They look like little tadpoles, like frogs. All right, over here we have a Pachycephalosaurid, I guess. So we have our Pachys. Probably got some Stiggies. Yep, Stiggies and Dracorex. Some Iguanodons. One of my favorite dinosaurs, Agonodons. Oh, we have a Oranosaurus. And there's a Dracorex. In a way, these kind of guys, this, this one in particular looks like a uh, an overgrown tadpole. Beautiful dinosaur, though. Absolutely beautiful. And the Agonodons are awesome. I guess it's like a, a Aladar from that movie Dinosaur that Disney made. What was it, like 15 years ago? It's a great movie, by the way, if you haven't checked it out. Definitely, uh... Definitely check it out when you can. 
Looks like this guy just came back from a KISS concert. Look at the uh, face paint. Oh, oh, he spotted me. All right, so I think the last uh, habitat for this one, and then we'll do another quick little flyover. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we'll go ahead and... Uh, oh, nope. We'll get the tours uh, going. So Swamp, Swamp Safari, I'm assuming, has the Suko, Berry, and Spinal Raptor, and Spinosaurus. What was I thinking with this one? I can't see nothing. Yeah, so we got our Spinal Raptors. Uh, probably one of the coolest hybrids we've had, because to me that looks like a legit... That legitimately could be a dinosaur, like a real dinosaur. Ankylodocus, no. Uh, Stegoceratops, no. And even the Endoraptor, Endoraptor to me does not seem like it'd be a, a real dinosaur, so I don't know. Indominus Rex is pretty cool, though. Our crocodiles, our alligators, our sucos. I mean, we should have a Spinosaurus around right here somewhere. There's a berry. Oh, there's the spine. Going off into the woods. I think that's about all we have. Yeah, you know, our spinos. So yeah, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to do the sauropods first, tyrannosaurs, and the swamp safari. For the end, uh, for the end there. But yeah, that's a, uh, that would be paleo world. I think I have all species that were available in the game at this time. Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly... So I don't, there's no Homolocephaly or Nidrosaurus. So yeah, it was everything before that pack, I think, is in here. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. As a matter of fact, I expect a lot of corrections uh, when y'all check out this video, because I'm sure I messed up a lot of information about the dinosaurs. Said a lot of things wrong, but feel free to correct me. I'm fine with it. It's just as long as you do it respectful. But yeah, this is uh, this is Paleo World. I think uh, out of the ones that we've uh, I've showed you guys so far, this is probably my favorite. Now, just uh, just so you guys are aware, every single one of the all six tours are being filmed back to back. I am recording those back to back to back to back, so I won't be able to change nothing or like do the videos any different. So my plan, as you've seen in the previous videos, is to do the real time tour, and then do a little uh, uh, do the Jeep tours at the end with some music over the top of it. Uh, thought about having some of the actual in-game audio, so I think with this one I might actually try to do. Uh, the in-game audio, but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is what we got. So thank you guys so much once again for uh, coming over and uh, checking out my videos. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. You have no idea. Uh, also, uh, I hope uh, everyone is excited about Jurassic World Evolution 2 just as much as I am, and. Uh, I'm kind of curious, you know, like, let me know down in the comment section something that you would like to see in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Uh, or maybe even possibly what kind of DLC maybe that you would like to see in uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2. I know it's a little early for that, but why not? It's had some fun, right? Uh, yeah, so this is, again, this is our third tour, so I hope you guys enjoy the final three. And also, I hope you guys are enjoying the... Uh, new park builds that I'll be uh, working on for the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next one. Mementosaurus possesses large spatula-shaped teeth, meaning she can chew plant matter rather than use gizzard stones as other sauropods do.
The Ankyloticus is a hybrid designed by Dr. Wu. Her armored body and tail club may look dangerous, but she has a calm and almost gentle temperament. Momentosaurus is a large sauropod with an extremely long neck. She lived in what is now China, and her name means Mamenchi lizard in reference to where fossils have been found. Diplodocus was one of the first dinosaur skeletons ever to be discovered. Her name means double beam in reference to the double beamed chevron bones from her tail. Ankyloticus is a hybrid of Ankylosaurus and Diplodocus genetic material. Some observers consider her reminiscent of the dinosaur Shunosaurus. Species of dinosaur have different requirements for care. We put their needs first and develop bespoke approaches for each species. Lizard King, and to many she represents the ultimate predator. This magnificent animal has long been at the heart of our dinosaur attractions. suffered a high mortality rate until they reached an age of around two years old, at which point they became the largest carnivore in their environment and no longer faced predation.
do not feed the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs will often congregate around feeders and water sources. Lights can startle the dinosaurs, so please refrain from using any flash photography. For your safety, keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. The Spinoraptor, another of Dr. Wu's creations, combines Spinosaurus and Velociraptor genomes to create a new species particularly notable for her aggression and tenacity. Fossil locations indicate that Spinosaurus lived in coastal regions with floodplains, swamp flats, and mangrove forests. For this reason, her diet has recently been supplemented with fresh fish. Please do not feed the dinosaurs. 